full of fun facts you need to know. Carl brings a bill and the member show to the GMP morning show. Featured guests will come and they will blow your mind. The audience will do so in kind. The little vanity mixed with some insanity on the morning show with GMP. Algria Munson here from expatsportugal.com with the Good Morning Portugal live stream here from 8.30 every weekday morning, helping you enjoy your life. Uh, you don't need any help with that, do you? If you're here in Portugal, you're probably enjoying your life anyway, helping people move to Portugal as well, those with an interest in moving here. We do everything we can to help you. Have a look at expatsportugal.com to see all the different ways we can help you, including a massive community on the forum there. What, nearly 10,000 people on the forum of Expats Portugal, people who've lived here for years and people who are just thinking about coming here. And, of course, 10,000 people over there on or over here on YouTube as well. Good morning to you, Maria Biscuit. I've just discovered this morning that this um, – I mean, I've, I've, we've lived in some damp houses in our time here. And uh, this is, is it a hygrometer? This is really good for measuring humidity. If you leave an open packet of Maria biscuits out, and believe me, that's not an easy thing to do because one is tempted, is, is one not for those fans of the Maria biscuit to finish the whole darn lot. What's that called? There's a special name for that, isn't there? When you can't, <laughs> you can't stop eating a packet of biscuits. Um, then you just have to, you get, you eat a few, don't you think? I'm only going to have two with my cup of tea, which turns into four. And then by the time you've got to four, you think, well, I might as well have six. I'll just take two more out, but that'll be it. And then you get to six, you think, well, I'm kind of like a third way through the packet maybe now. Um, I know, I'll just I'll just take a couple more out and leave half for tomorrow. And then it just gets, you know, the, the ground slips beneath you, from beneath you like sand. And you think, oh, I might as well just eat the whole lot. If you manage not to eat the whole lot, and you leave an open packet in, in the room overnight, you'll find by the morning how damp it is in that building. And I'm very pleased to say the studio here, the Marias are still crispy this morning after a late night binge uh, last night of Maria biscuits. And who doesn't like a Maria in their mouth? Uh, first thing in the morning. Uh, your favourite biscuits, of course. This is Consumer Tuesday. And we will return to um, what I thought was a very good idea. And perhaps we don't look at this often enough. But um, we have the Good Morning Portugal Expats Choice nominations, of course. Remember that? Anybody, you old timers who've been here for a little while? I'm going to add it to the stream now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's this thing here. And, um, yeah, big warning. Warning, warning. <clears throat> Please do not enter any personal details, okay, when filling this in. You might want to do this as a bit of fun. It's a help to other people in the community as well. Uh, so the Good Morning Portugal's Expats Choice nominations. And, look, Best Bank. And we'll have a look at some of the results as well. If I can <laughs> – Google Forms are great, aren't they? But sometimes finding the results and the spreadsheet and the pie charts and all that can be a little bit difficult. I'll see if I can do that live on air this morning. Um, you know me. Um, who was it who said yesterday? They're not high tech. They're mid tech. I think I would I would put myself on the spectrum. It was you, James, isn't it? Um, between mid tech and high tech. I think I'm quite able. But then when it goes wrong, it goes horribly wrong. But anyway, best bank. Um, there you can choose and you can add others as well. So we can weave those in to this ever growing, ever evolving questionnaire of lifestyle choices. Not those sorts of lifestyle choices, consumer choices, I should say. Um, anything else you want to say at, at your bank or banking in Portugal? See, there's a nice space there for that sort of uh, bile to come out. Um, oh, no, bile. Talking of bile, uh, Portuguese mobile. I didn't know that, that was going to happen, but it's true, isn't it? Um, sometimes the Portuguese or any mobile company around the world, of course, can produce um, angry reactions <laughs> among consumers um there's your chance to vote for your best portuguese mobile company um let me whilst i'm whilst i'm doing this um cookie monster syndrome oh okay yeah uh, when you when you can't stop eating the biscuits i've heard of another i've heard of another for that as well but that's a good one cms cookie monster syndrome do you struggle with that yourself do we need to form a support group um but that at least proves that, that i am going out on the microphone today which is good i need to check don't i because sometimes i'm like what five minutes into it and i'm being sent messages to say carl you're not being heard being heard this morning um seems whether you like it or not 
<laughs> whether you like Maria Biscuits or not, whether you like Vodafone or not, or Millennium, let's have a look. Your four, your, your favorite Portuguese, I was going to say, your Portuguese favorite uh, coffee, uh, your regular cafe or bica there, uh, right through to the more strange specialty coffees. Have I put the old um, Conch de Pardo on there? I haven't. That needs to be added. Uh, best Portuguese beer, only a choice of two, but you can nominate another as well. Uh, best Portuguese wine, that's pathetic, isn't it? Only three choices plus other there so we do need some other nominations um and then the anything else you want to say about portuguese wine right, lovely um and uh, best uh, car hire there and uh, that's because at the time i was using uh, <laughs> the the great zest and rent auto and subsequently have been gifted a lovely vehicle which i hope to pick up from joao later on today um after a few little bits of tinkering he's done on the car but uh, car hire uh, best government office. You see, it does need help, this survey, no question about it. I want to find out the best government offices so that uh, people doing their um, going into the camera to get things done can find out where they're going to get the friendliest service, et cetera, et cetera. What's missing there, it occurred to me, was um, supermarkets. So I think we need to add something along the line of supermarkets. And I might add that live today. But that thing, that gets, some, some people don't look like doing surveys, do they? So that you, you will not want to go anywhere near this thing. Um, but others will want to do that. Um, and some of you will just want to tell me in the chat this morning. And that's how it's going to be on this Consumer Tuesday. No live guest. We do have an appearance, however. We have an appearance from the wonderful uh, Katia Lima. Um, she put up a great uh, video. She's always putting up great videos on Instagram um, talking about her her business that she runs. Uh, she's she's a, a, a busy, devoted mum uh, and also runs a content creation business. And uh, she'll tell you more about that herself uh, with a little video that she's made. And she's let me give you another choice today. Um, too many choices already? Uh, just get on with it, Carl. But I know, I think you'll like this choice. Um, Katia Lima, of course, the, the Beyond Lisbon blog. And uh, because, the strap line, because Portugal is more than Lisboa. Did you know that? Um, you will if you're a, f a follower of hers and you, you uh, follow her blog. And you'll I think you'll want to buy her a coffee as well today. So I will... Um, Share the details for doing that as well, so you can buy Katia a coffee too. Um, she's quite amazing. Um, great writer and running a business. And uh, it may be that uh, you can use her services. We'll find that later on. I think we'll do that after 9 o'clock, after we've seen how everybody is. Maybe have a look at the weather as well. Looking lovely this morning. A bit misty uh, here on the Silver Coast uh, when I was out with the dogs this morning. But a beautiful morning. I woke up this morning. How, what happens to us? I, I'm, I'm having more dreams than I normally do, or remembering more dreams. I probably dream every night, but I don't always remember it. And this morning I, I awoke have, remembering that I had met an old boss and colleague of mine in my dreams. I used to work at the Natural History Museum. And even if you haven't been to the Natural History Museum in London, you will know it from its iconic hall. It's an amazing building. And there used to be a massive dinosaur in the, in the lobby there, in the, in the main um, hallway of the entrance hall of the, of the um, Natural History Museum in London, in Kensington in London. And that was one of my first jobs um, in, as, a, as a youth um, and um, in my early 20s uh, working there. And you'll have seen it in so many films. Um, and, and also it's been copied, isn't it, around the world with, you know, obviously the great Natural History Museum. You walk in and you are confronted by a huge uh, skeleton of a dinosaur. Um, so I used to work there. And my dear friend, Arnold, who I used to work with, this is very specialist, isn't it? But And cue someone talking about their dreams. And I know that I don't actually enjoy it when Mrs. M tell, goes into a lengthy detail about her dreams. And so I'll sip on my tea and go, hmm, really? Wow. Um, oh, and by the way, it, went, it was, was fine yesterday. She actually, she's amazing, Mrs. M. Um, when I said, when she said to me, we're not doing anything for Valentine's Day, it wasn't a trap. Why did I suspect it might be a trap? Of of course, it wasn't a trap. She's amazing. Um, and he, but anyway, she does tend to tell me in quite an elaborate way about her dreams. Um, and um, I did gloss over a little bit. But, you know, it's rude, isn't it, to say um, how much longer might this take or something like that? Or I think my salad's going cold, that sort of thing. Um, but this morning, myself, I was very um, enlivened by this in encounter in my dreamscape. And I don't remember much about the, the content or the detail. And I remember meeting another colleague after um, an important gentleman, I think it was the, the what are they called, the curator of the museum, um, a mutual friend. This is really quite dull now, isn't it? Tell me if it is in the, in the chat and the comments. But the, what, I'm, what I'm getting around to is I woke with um, 
a beautific stillness having had this dream dream space encounter in the night how was your dream world like we don't often ask that each other that do we we often say did you sleep well and um you know how are you this morning here's your cup of tea that sort of thing but uh, checking on that um psychological space that may have been cleansed or disturbed by dreams if you want to tell me about that this morning in the comment in the that was a really long way wasn't it tell me about your dreams <laughs> So Maria Biscuit so far and dreams, sublime and ridiculous here on the Good Morning Portugal live stream, as you've come to expect. And of course, we have a coat of arms. It doesn't have Maria Biscuits on it, but maybe Warren will add things over time and it will become a really elaborate coat of arms in case you haven't seen it. Um, and for you uh, YouTube members, I've, I've given it to you over on, on your special part of the community there uh, for you to study uh, before we have the full um, onslaught of creative criticism. I thought I'd let the YouTube members have a go as a sample group first. But it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Look at it there. And we will go through Warren's own, uh, what's the word, orientation, I suppose, or analysis of his own work of art there. Banana Slug Central, of course, and GMP in the middle. On Nation de Gumpers. And we need to check for uh, uh, linguistic correctness as well uh, for those who are into such things. Um, so where was I? Where were we? What's happening? Consumer Tuesday. Tell us, tell me about your favorite Portuguese businesses, brands, products and services. We'll be hearing from Katia Lima after nine o'clock telling us about hers. And of course, Tuesday's always the cue for you to tell us about your business. Maybe it's just an idea. And we can go back to the days of the Cockerel's Coop, which is our equivalent of the Dragon's Den. Have you got a business idea? Some people in, who moved to Portugal as expats have an idea. They don't necessarily want to do anything with it. So you could toss that into the mix this morning. Say, why don't you why don't you open up a fish and chip show called Page Go? Get it? P-E-I-X-E, Page Go, or some other similar world-changing idea. Uh, throw that in. Or if you've got a serious idea and you're not too fussed about or, or if you're careful not to give away your intellectual property this morning, but you want a little bit of market research done, you have a very attentive and intelligent audience here who I'm sure will tear your idea down to pieces. <laughs> no, who will give you creative and constructive feedback uh, this morning. Uh, look at that. I mean, over. Well, we're, we're getting on for 50 people watching this morning, as far as I know. Um, I'll use the old publishing um do you remember, you know, with, with newspaper publishing, I think they with circulation, they multiply it by five, don't they? So there's 250 people kind of watching this morning um, the Good Morning Portugal live stream. All of those people sat in a line can be your cockerel's coop, dragon's den scenario. Share a business idea, if you will. But definitely tell us about your favorite Portuguese businesses, especially the little ones, the little ones that need a shout out. You know, the cafe down the end of your street, um, the amazing restaurant, the, the like, um, what were they called? Truja uh, that I featured in Coimbra, making beautiful handmade shoes and apparel. Those sorts of shops, I think, need a big shout out. So let's please do that this morning. And of course, we will share with you the wonderful work of Katia Lima. And I've got, yes, I know that's where I was going before I started talking about my own dream analysis. Uh, meet the B-Day. Do's, don'ts, and hold on, what's this say? Do's, don'ts, and my easy five-step guide to using it like a pro. Now, some people are going to be thinking, oh, no, Carl, seriously, this is good morning, Portugal. I'm about to have my breakfast. I do not want to talk about bidets. And do you say bidet or do you rather pretentiously say a bidet? I'm just going to use the a bidet. Um, it, probably most people don't announce that, but you get the gist. Do you say bidet or bidet? That is um, one of the choices this morning, not to use it or not to use it. That's a sub choice. The headline choices are, do we want to look at Katia Lima's Meet the Bidet blog? Or do we want to look at the Valentine's Day blog, which is excellent Valentine's Day Portuguese style, where she's worked up a few Tinder profiles of historic characters of Portugal. You know what? We could do both if you want to, but let's. Um, <clears throat> you can at least tell me where you want me to start um, with those two. Let's look at some weather, shall we, and see who's here this morning. The comments are mounting up. There's probably someone who's been here since half past two this morning. Is it you, Prof Eusebio? Bom dia. A movimentadores. E agitadores, which reminds me, I don't quite know why. And of course, remember the terrible danger that the tumble dryer is creating for humanity. Get your washing out on the line on the balcony. Okay, do your bit. Uh, not only can you lower the curb appeal of your neighborhood, 
you can uh, help save the world for a few more hours each time you, you do that. Um, Prof, that is amazing. Um, if you want to put the link into that, to, to the video trailer of that movie, you know, these documentaries, like I said yesterday, the documentary, th there's a documentary to stop you doing everything, isn't there? I mean, I'm looking at, lovingly at my cough suites. There's going to be a documentary, isn't there? Like the danger of cough suites called Cough It Up or something like that, where, you know, it'll be detailed in over 90 minutes, the dangers of of lozenge production and how we need to stop it if we if we want future generations to enjoy life on planet Earth. But anyway, Prof Eusebio has got a, a fabulous uh, link to the, the perils of blow drying, um, which he may well put. He might not, uh, but he might put that in there. And uh, what, what do we call it? What's, what's the simple phrase for this whole um, <laughs> line drying gate thing we've got going on? Answers for that as well, please. So uh, bon, a bon dia from the Prof who was in early this morning. And um, he's more of a shaker. Um, growers, showers, movers, shakers, all welcome this morning. I'm more of a shaker, born dear. You don't really want a growing, showing, and shaking in the same sentence, do you? Born dear, come put in the show. Born dear, alegria, I should say, from the tea duck. Stephen Wright, quote of the day. Um, this is like a game of cards. He will put down his two aces of Stephen Wright and George Carlin, and then it's up to the rest of us to find some pith pithy Portuguese poetry or a one-liner as well um please help help with that um reading ahead and giggling at some of the comments um Stephen Wright you can't have everything where would you put it that's really clever isn't it and I imagine it's something that old granny Wright might have said to him uh George Qualin George Qualin coat of the day the George Qualin coat um the, they give you a coloring book and some crayons and tell you be creative but don't go outside the lines yes the writing was on the wall pardon the pun, early on in our in our lives, doesn't it? You know, you get this sense that you're being given freedom and, and creativity, but nah, forget it. Uh, morning, shaking duck. <laughs> you do the shaking duck and you say good morning, all from Baldilocks as well. Good morning, Baldilocks. Amazing. You were on the um, the uh, gardening Q&A last night, as was OLP. Love it when people are here at both ends of the day, like a lovely gumper sandwich. You are the bread of the gumper sandwich, folks. Thank you, Baldy Locks and OLP, who also says good morning. All the gumpers this morning. And Matty, how are you feeling this morning? Hola, bon dia todos. Feliz terza feira. Terza feira, correct spelling on the second attempt. Very good. Might have been a little bit hasty there, but we got there in the end. This is good. Do speak more. Po speak Portuguese to me. And yes, talking of which, I nearly mentioned it earlier on. And then, and then I went off on a tangent. Um, the new Netflix series is quite quirky and good, actually. And, and it is good for helping with colloquial, everyday Portuguese language. Till life us depart, I recommend it. Um, as a little bit, certainly as a way of learning some of the lingo. It's very stylish. And um, yeah, quirky, as I say. Um, a little bit odd, not family viewing, really, um, but, but very interesting nonetheless. Anyone else watching that, what do you think? It's a day of opinions, isn't it, about Portuguese businesses, brands, products, services, blah, blah, blah. Uh, today in uh, Portuguese history, 1931, Avant. Okay, I need to hold that. Wait just a minute, minute because I need to bring that onto the screen. There are is incoming this morning, and thankfully in the form. Oh, no, um, what's happening here? WhatsApp for desktop beta. Make calls and send messages without connecting your phone. It didn't work terribly well. When we had Will Thompson on the phone on Friday, it caused a right load of chaos. But um, thank you for that. Now I understand why you are sending me pictures of Avante magazine. Uh, well, uh, it's a, what would they be called? It was a pamphlet, wasn't it? Is it a political pamphlet made on a, uh, probably in a basement on printing presses that roll into the night and have that lovely smell like you used to enjoy um, at school. Um, was, that, was that the spirit duplicator? Anyone remember that smell? It was the only good reason to go to geography as far as I was concerned is when Mr. Britain, seriously, my geography teacher, I only re just realized that saying it out loud. My geography teacher is called Mr. Britain. And he would say, oh, it, it, here's a thing. And I still say this to, to this day, I'm sorry to say, but he would come in and he would just shout out at the top of his voice, shut up, fatheads. He would call us fatheads. Could you do that to children these days? I don't know. But that's what he would call us, fatheads, um, and just make us concentrate. Mr. Britain handing out spirit duplicated, whatever they were, worksheets. But to, anyway, <laughs> really good at distracting myself this morning, aren't I? What did your teachers say to you when you were young, if I can dare repeat it? So we're downloading that. Um, T-Duck, what's that incoming from you? Ooh, 
Is that for real? <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, I don't know. Is that, have you actually seen that? And what, what's going on there? Is, and is it meant to be funny? Because I am finding it funny, uh, for sure. Um, thank you very much, James. We'll get that in today as well, while we're on the matter of uh, cultural iconography and galleries, etc. The chocolate molten pudding. Oh, we've got to show that as well, haven't we? Got maxed <laughs> and fell in love. <laughs> Look at that. I think that is that is a big chocolate pudding. And that's probably not the first time you've heard that, Owen. I'm sure. Um, and, oh, no, that's a private one. Not to be, um, not to, I mean, not in any bad way. Um, and is that somebody sending me a massive gin and tonic picture as well? What are you like? What a bunch of lushes you are. But back to Avant. And let's get these picks up. That's if I haven't overloaded the picture deck or you haven't o overloaded the picture deck again. Some um, funny pictures and some interesting pictures. So let's start with this historical document here. Um, so you can see that on your screen. From the prof. Al proletaria, proletariado. Oh, proletariado. Proletariado. I think that's right. The Portugal. So the proletariat of Portugal. This is an exciting start to a little bit of info, isn't it? 1931. Avant, the newspaper of the Portuguese Communist Party. That got your attention, didn't it, Americans? It's first published, printed in clandestine printers. There you go. Uh, Mr. Britain and his spirit duplicator. And maybe that's what he was doing when he was late for lessons. Maybe he was a communist sympathizer at my public school, my minor public school. And he was working for the other side. Mr. Britain, my office now. MI5 are here to see you. Uh, printed in clandestine printers and distributed by militants. The print runs reached 10,000. So there you go, 1931. Um, exciting, uh, heady times politically in Portugal, of course. And uh, Salazar will be having none of it, uh, I'm sure. And there you go. Um, and I, I do like to see a, a paper like that. Uh, part of my uh, training, my college, was um, hot metal for making newspapers, learning how to do that, just as it was going out of fashion, just before everything got replaced by desktop publishing. And I can tell you, to produce something like that takes a hell of a lot of effort. You would have had been seriously politically motivated and passionate about the cause to go to the trouble of publishing something as simple as that, which we can just knock out on a computer these days. Quite incredible. Uh, taking us back to 1931 there on this day in Portuguese history. What else have we got coming in? So we need a backstory on this. Dom Carlos Doniro. Um, you're talking to me? You're looking at me? Um, but I actually think that might be a person, Don Carlos De Niro. It's not some sort of Hollywood um, <laughs> gag, is it? Um, please, backstory for Don Carlos De Niro, please. Looks like Lisbon to me. Um, I wonder what the story is there. And we must show Owen's um, uh, lovely chocolate pudding this morning, mustn't we? More of that tomorrow, of course. Um, any news about what's happening tomorrow? Amazing Austin brothers in Al Viagra and Owen. Busy cooking. Um all, all the time. I mean, certainly busy for Valentine's. He couldn't help me out last night. It was previously booked, and of course you can book Owen, the food alchemist, the wonderful cook of our community. And um, I do love the look of that. that. That's just a little bit of cracking on the top. Gives you a little clue, doesn't it, to the molten interior, the hot chocolatey interior that lies beneath the crackled surface. <clears throat> and... Um, the Air and Space Museum. I'd, I'd visit that. I wouldn't want to pay too much, but I would go and, and see what I could make of that. Very good. Thank you very much for that, James. You and your avant-garde dog, and now today the Air and Space Museum. That's probably in Lisbon, um, I suspect. Uh, that does look like Lisbon to me. <laughs> so on the, on the, on the riverbank there, at a, at a rather um, rarefied and, and um, special museum, conceptual museum there. Like You could see that in Lisbon, quite frankly. And look, a... It's not a pint, is it? A big glass of beer, though. He's going for a large one, I think, there. And there you have uh, Coach Turner's idea of, of training. <laughs> glass of beer. He'll be here on Friday to complement his beer intake with some gentle fitness for us bon vivers. Oh, and yes, this week, um, we are, we're are we going to talk to Spartan on Thursday for the webinar. If you've got some, a lot of love for Spartan here, of course, uh, Spartan FX, our currency partners. Um, currency exchange partners. Um, if you've got some detailed questions for the team, for the Spartan uh, personnel, join us for the webinar on Thursday where you can get those personal questions answered. Um, how it works on a, on a Thursday webinar is that we, we have some of the, you know, the big topics 
if not all of them, if we're missing anything, you let me know and we'll make sure we cover that gap. But um, last week, for example, uh, Daniel Reyes was in and he was talking about Portuguese citizenship. This week, uh, moving the big amounts of money around and um, getting getting the confident about doing that. Um, I'll come and ask those technical questions. We have a, a recorded part which we put on, on the internet and um, we have a session afterwards. After we stop the recording, it's a chance for everybody to ask their own individual questions after we've gone from the universal global sort of stuff into the more personal stuff and you can just put your hand up in the webinar in the zoom and ask the questions that you want to ask it's a very good service even if i say so myself and uh luis will be here uh from remember him from global relocation he was a real star he is a real star and he's joining us again on thursday and hopefully some live cooking tomorrow and if not cooking then talking about portuguese food ask anything about portuguese food and anything else about portuguese life on a wednesday of course owen will be in and uh, those um rascals known as the amazing austin brothers of alvaro beautiful picture of you john um with Ginny celebrating many years of married life congratulations to you both beautiful picture absolutely love that seeing that on facebook so lots of love to all the austins um, and looking forward to seeing you both and you Austin and you Austin Owen you Owen tomorrow with your great big chocolate pudding mm, there we go um back to your comments maybe a little bit of weather as well today and uh, Lonnie's here as well of course talk to you later Lonnie bon dia todos how are you doing Lonnie love your loving your azalejos there um but, ooh, uh, bon dia gumpers feliz terça todos dos from james talk, been talking about you already of course estudo de portugues por sessenta very good a minutos on ten so um more and more each day by the sound of it james well done keep up the good work my friend say when do you switch to a portuguese driver's license how many years is it good for huh, what is it good for you have to be retested I believe at key ages like 70. What is the process for renewal? So I will leave that to the expert, T Duck, <laughs> to answer that. Consumer Tuesday, Suze. It is indeed. Lovely picture of you. Thank you for sharing. And um, yeah, save euros, spend euros, Consumer Tuesday. Tell us about your favorite Portuguese businesses, brands. Help, help our brothers and sisters out here so they don't waste money and spend unnecessarily. But also, let's talk about where we can spend our euros, where it counts in local businesses and our favorite local businesses as well. And tell us about your own business ideas, if you will. Don't give away your IP, but if you want a bit of feedback on a business idea, then this is the place to do it. And lots of wonderful, intelligent gumpers here ready to give you their opinion. Um, from Matty, the EU driving licenses are usually valid for 10 years. And then you need to renew anyway with new photos. I didn't know that. So there you go. That's the beauty of the hive mind here. But have a look at mine. I've, no, I, did, I changed mine probably three years ago. So I've got a little while yet. Um, what is a good city to live in that's not Porto Lisboa that has a great transportation system network? Coimbra. But public transportation is great all over Portugal. I mean, in the cities, that is. It's not so great, great as, as is the case in many parts of the world when you get out into the countryside. But you still might find you have one or two buses a day going through the town or the village where you live. But um, Coimbra, for sure. Um, and Aveiro, are very good as well. All the big towns and cities have a good transportation system. We don't really want to have a full-time car. When we move there, good shout, good call. Um, I would say check out Coimbra. Uh, check Caldash is good as well, um, of course, and I think that might be on your uh, list already, OLP. Uh, bon dia, Gumpers. Missed the live shows lately. Uh, big boy crypto pants. Good morning. Can you tell me, please, um, your pants? Is it, Can you transcribe what's on your youtube picture there and maybe put that in the comments because it's irritatingly invisible to me um bon dia gumpers missed the live shows lately new work pattern when i get to portugal things will hopefully be different Man, that's that's a, a sentence that's been uttered many times i've said it myself when i get to portugal things will be hopefully different and it's a bit like i had a farm in africa isn't it <laughs> that, that sort of oh hold on a minute soggy biscuits What's this? Um, uh, big boy crypto pants. You you don't need to dunk a biscuit in tea in Portugal to get it soggy. That's so true. And that would sound so good in Latin or Portuguese, wouldn't it? So, yes, the Maria biscuits, they are your humidity detection system. And you can buy four full packets of these um, in a bulk buy, which delighted my mother yesterday. I haven't seen her picture for a little while. This this was the face she she pulled um, when I when she said to me the other day, 
have we got a rich tea biscuit or something like that? And I said, better that than that, mother. We have the Maria biscuit here in Portugal. And I'm going to get some. Came back from the shop yesterday with a four pack, um, which caused her to smile like this and uh, rip them open and start dip. I don't, is she a dipper or a dunker? I don't think so. I think she just likes to nibble on a, on that sort of confectionery. But four big packets for about one euro fifty. And when I get to Portugal, things will be different. I will be bloating up on Maria biscuits for one thing. Yes, CMS, Cookie Monster Syndrome. I have to watch out for that. Um, I rather like Ericeira in case of under... You didn't mention it, James. And buses do a good job of getting me around pretty much wherever I want to go. That's uh, the recommendation for you, OLP, then. And a big boy, Crypto Pants, um, meant to ask if you've seen the video by... Don or Olsen, the line goes up. I remember it sounds like a crypto movie then. And there's a lot of crypto backlash at the moment, isn't there? And the governments are moving in slowly but surely, aren't they? Interesting times in crypto. Moaz, good morning to you. Bon dia, Carly. And there is a direct bus to Lisboa almost every half hour throughout the day. That's a good service, isn't it? Excellent. Showed your beer earlier on, Ian. Bon dia, Torosh. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Sun's up. And not a cloud in the sky, though we were rained on in Sagres yesterday. And it was freezing. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's not what we want, is it? When we come here to Portugal. Bon dia, Algria Gumpers from Cindy B as well. Oh, there it comes. The consumer advice. Morning, Cindy. And morning to you, Peter. Um, as a bit of a consumer advice, unless you have no choice, don't use NOS. No opportunity. Oh, I see. We like an we like a, a reappropriated acronym, don't we? And there you have one right there. NOS, no opportunity for service or mayo. Don't use either of those. It doesn't leave much choice apart from Vodafone, does it? Any small provider can now rent space on a tower. Oh, well, hold on a minute. This is a, we heard about this. And um, we talked about this on our Premium Plus session, um, which we do at nine on a Thursday night. That's the little Zoom call um, with the people on the Premium Plus um, course plan uh, to move to people, the accelerator, if you like. Um, and our little provider, Garduna Broadband, is, oh, no, cliffhanger. Da, 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 da. It's awesome. Oh, that's good. Um, good stuff. So, yes, it, that came up that a community or a small business could what, erect its own tower and have its own service into a rural address or, or gathering, a little um, conurbation, or is that a big, a big gathering? But anyway, a, a, little, a little gathering of housing uh, could club together and have their own tower, I think, which would then upgrade them from s slow speeds that the big companies like – Pete is mentioning there, the Nosses and the Mayos of the world aren't going to want to give you fibre uh, when you live down the end of a track, he, even though they promised that you would have something good when you were signing up and everyone was hot for the sale. Um, you then realise that you've only got <laughs> one megabit <laughs> unless the other person down the track is using it. Um, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's, it, um, it, it's painful uh, what can happen. Just ask Jerry on that, and we did. Um, so that's a really good th thing to consider. Don't rule out living in the countryside because of terrible um, broadband or, or Wi-Fi uh, internet connection. Think about clubbing together or put some a little, put the suggestion to a small provider in your locality. Is that how it works, Pete? Tell us more. Um, Bishkotosh um, have to be dunkable. It's the law as far as Ian is concerned. And uh, no café con cheiro. Um, is this a non-Portuguese coffee choice? No, not at all. But if I put every Portuguese coffee choice on my um, survey there, it would it would be like several pages long, I think. You've seen those posters in the cafe sometimes, haven't you? With all the different kinds of coffee. Um, so cafe uh, con cheiro, a little snifter to go with your coffee. Great idea. Please add it, Pete, um, yourself, if you have the time to do such things. Bon dia, Carl, from the OLP. And... Um, OLP, a message for you from James. Lots of hills, if you like that kind of ride. That's Ericera. I didn't think of Ericera as a hilly place. And Hank is here. Hola, bon dia, all you wonderful human beings. Good morning to you, Hank. How are you doing uh, this morning? I think we've got some video to show, haven't we? Some video came in as well. Um, from you, Coach Turner. Was it another um, a beer shot? <laughs> from you we do have katia to come uh, later on in the show as well i've got to download the thing from you coach and more more photos and videos are coming in which is great the gastetna machine that was the classic wasn't it thank you for sending me a picture i've never imagined i would receive a picture of a gastetna printer via whatsapp but that's made my day it really has 
Oh, I see. Um, there's a before and after version. <laughs> I see, cheeky. Thank you very much. Um, Don Carlos De Niro was indeed something. That's a very good job, whoever did that. Very good job on that. And um, again, I'm going to WhatsApp to look at incoming messages and videos, um, maybe even voice messages. Oh, that's the thing. If you want to call the show this morning, um, and have a chat. And we'll see if this new beta version of WhatsApp software works. You can give me a call as well. Um, 913-590-303. Did I do that right? 913-590-303. That's uh, scrolling across the bottom of your screen. If you want to send in a, a voice message or call into the show with a recommendation or a story about a Portuguese business, a brand, a product or a service. Uh, yeah, here in Portugal, just to alert um, others in the community to either the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent uh, when it comes to such things. Brian Taylor also here this morning. Ooh, NFTs. Anybody understand what that is? Morning, Brian. And big boy crypto pants to midlife crisis. No, I haven't looked at the – is it The Line Goes Up? Was that the name of that it's a documentary? Uh, what is uh, crypto's destroying the planet as well in the way that i mentioned before you can't eat octopus you can't do this you can't do that no i haven't but we'll look we'll have a look the nf they are nfts and nfts if that makes sense okay move no it doesn't uh, not yet and moving forward nfts will be utilized in many ways not just an image that anyone can generate yeah i think there's a little bit of emperor's new going on there as well isn't there isn't that what's happened there's an nft aspect to the fashion world where they don't even make the stuff anymore you just sell the the rights to it you sell the rights to the concept i mean isn't that a one great big laugh at someone else's expense literally the emperor's new clothes that you can't touch or see in real life but you can buy and pay for and have other people go wow that's so amazing um just wanted to say a real quick i miss y'all um you wonderful bastages <laughs> what have you ever been called that before? I'm hoping, I'm, I suspect it is a good thing if Hank's saying it, but honestly. Um, James uh, from Suze. What's he done this morning? And James, um, does the town have some good fresh markets? I'm sure it does. Eddie said, tell us about the market. Send pics, James. Um, well, I like downhill banking. Very good. Um, so, yes, you've got the ups and the downs of living in Eddie Sarah. Call me weird, but I have steamy dreams about Carl. Let's just see if I blush there. Yes, I am blushing a little bit. <laughs> and a bit more. <laughs> a bit more. Oh, Hank. Um, I meant there are NFTs and there are NFTs. Oh, there are NFTs and there are NFTs. Yes, um, and I'm talking about probably the less attractive end of that, aren't I? Uh, with my dismissal there. Some are good and some are worthless. NFT isn't just about art. Yes, or fashion for that matter. Bon dia, Thank you, big boy crypto pants for that. Your BBC pants. And um, yes, Owen. Bon dia, Algria. With that lovely big smile. And um, it's been he's been diagnosed as Hank. Having steamy dreams about me makes you weird, apparently. What a great place to work. All, with all the controversy over the ape becoming man along the outside. What's that? <laughs> what is that? Um, what's Cookie Owen? Uh, yes, what is Cookie Owen? What, what are we doing tomorrow? And um, consumer affairs. We've been surprised at prices in the supermercados here. Okay, good. Not dissimilar to those in the UK. Those days have gone, Coach Turner, I'll tell you. Uh, where is the best place to shop? And this is an Algarve issue. Yeah, I'm, I imagine you are paying a bit of a premium there in the Algarve. But tourist prices, I would say. Um, and it might not be any better if you go to a local indie shop because they will be rising with the same tide, so to speak. Folks, and this is definitely missing. Um, from my survey. Let's bring the survey back onto the screen. We're going to do the weather, weren't we? Does anyone want to hear the weather? And do you want to hear about B-Days or Valentine's Day, celebrated Portuguese style or both? But uh, let me just bring on the um, the this, this survey, the expats choices, and we'll pop that onto the screen so you can see what I'm talking about here. And uh, the supermarkets should be in here. So let's just go quickly through the supermarkets, should we? Shall we? Yes, we will. Um, for Coach Turner, uh, continent is one of the big ones and that's a bit like i'm going to do i'm going to do if americans could help me out here i'm going to do um let me see now british comparisons so you've got continent which i think is a bit like um tesco's okay then you've got what is what are the other ones we've got pingados which is also a bit like tesco's 
Um, and, you know, that, that kind of level, not middling. You've got Leclerc here in, which is a French one, and it's really good. And that's a bit more sort of Waitrose and Sainsbury's. I don't know if you've got a Leclerc down there in the Algarve. You've got your Aldi's and Niddles, which, of course, are Aldi's and Niddles all over the world. So that's the same, same comparison you'll be familiar with in the UK. What else? Oh, Intermarché. Intermarché is a bit like Asda, I would say, um, as well. And there, are, there is another one that I forget now, but if you can help me out with that. And some American comparisons, please, with the um, supermarkets. But, yeah, I think you are... The prices are leveling up, to use that dread phrase. Um, but um, I think you might also be experiencing a bit of an Algarve um, uplift in the prices. Hope you're experiencing an Algarve uplift in every sense um, whilst you're enjoying your time here in Portugal. Coach Turner, see you Friday. Um, the NFT issue is only a small part of the essay. It's over two hours long, but it was interesting. It did reinforce my prejudice that all crypto is a grift. No offense intended. Ah, not a favorable one then. And come on, Prof Eusebio, there are some really good, I would say, some excellent sociological um, f philosophies uh, expressed within the, the crypto movement. The blockchain, for example, I think the blockchain is a great tool for humanity, potentially. Um, but then again, it's a bit like the internet, isn't it? What happens, you create a great invention and before long, within, you know, it's a bit like the creation of the world, isn't it? And on the seventh day, man... Um, after after discovering an amazing invention on the seventh day, he used it to kill other people or spread pornography around the world. This is what humans do, and it's probably going to happen with the blockchain and NFTs as well. Um, but that's just me sounding like a terrible old uh, curmudgeon saying things like that. Hey, Carl, quick question. What mic do you use? It is the – I love Rode products. Um, this is the – I think it's called the Podcaster Mic. Um, but if you go to Rode, as you can see – let me hold that up. If you go to Rhodes website, they do a beautiful um, podcasting uh, mixing desk, a USB thing. Uh, sorry if we get a bit nerdy for a moment, everybody, just talking to Hank about podcasting stuff. But go to the Rhodes website, Hank, and um, you'll see the lovely kit that they do. And uh, it went absolutely fine. The cooking yesterday, it says Owen. Uh, any other podcasting questions? Very happy to answer them. If not live on the show, then just um, send me a message. As you can see there, 00351, the country code for Portugal, and 913-590-303. Bon dia from a windswept UK. It looks like we're having all your missing rain in the coming week with two major storms heading our way. Oh, sorry to hear that, Gary. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, but you can't wait to be over here, my friend. And crypto is just a giant Ponzi scheme. Oh, stop it, Coach Turner. It's not just that. I mean, certainly parts of it are. And isn't everything, isn't everything in life um, a Ponzi scheme or can be turned into one? I will not have that said on the Good Morning Portugal show. Um, we, should have a, we should have a crypto special, shouldn't we, where we can have it out once and, no, probably not once and for all, but a, a contribution like we did with COVID. Do you remember that panel discussion? Uh, I thought that was very, very good. A very good part of our history. Um, would have been 18 months ago now, wouldn't it? James Holly, where are we with the pandemic, by the way? Are we endemic yet? Um, not many open markets in winter. Uh, my only experience here so far, really. Uh, but virtually all the produce and meats at the supermarkets are essentially local and fresh. Well, that's good to know, isn't it? A bit of supermarket info coming in. Yeah. And how is Matty doing re-COVID? I think he's getting back to his normal self. I mean, not that he was ever a normal self, of course, None, no offence intended again there, um, but I think he'll be the first to say he, he's no normal guy. Um, so, yes, let us know yourself, Matty, because he's tuned in this morning. And, hey, freaking man! What was that about? Um, it is an Algarve issue, Ian Turner. Picked up wine at a euro a bottle. That you are not, I don't think they're going to let tourists get away with that in the Algarve, are they? They are here to drink. Double those prices. Um, so, yes, Pete. Thanks for this. Um, picked up wine at a euro a bottle. That wasn't half bad. And our shopping is at least half the price of the UK. Just avoid truffle cream cheese. My stomach yesterday. <laughs> truffle cream cheese. There's a bon viveur <laughs> item in the bagging area. My goodness. I see. Yes. So um, I did get the picture. <laughs> Dom Carlos de Niro. Thank you very much for that. I'll share that again before the show's out. Um, crypto, like gold or silver, depends on people after you paying on people after you paying more for something that produces nothing. Oh, more contention this morning. Gold or silver producing nothing. Well, I yes, I see what you mean in one respect, but. 
Um, oh my goodness, I, I, I'd love to go there, but I, uh, maybe this is a discussion for another time. But um, does oh, I'm so tempted to go there, but I'm not going to. I too have been having. I'll let others do that, and maybe I'll chip in a bit later on. Uh, but interesting sentiment there, Mr. Bleach. Um, I, too, have been pa- having vivid dreams, OK, that I can usually remember since I've moved to Portugal. Oh, maybe it's a Silver Coast thing then, Cindy B, that the sea rolls in and the sea mist, like the BFG comes and accentuates and amplifies your dreams. Mm. I'm like Mrs. M. I like to tell people about my dreams. I usually dream of the movies I've seen the night before and I become one of the characters, usually the star of the movie. That's so good. That's so good. Which movies, though, I wonder? And Gemini's here, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Lol, Pete. Good morning to you, Gemini. Lol, Pete. Um, we did have garlic-infused cream cheese yesterday. I'll have to look at you lot. I'll have to look out for truffle-flavoured cheese. Honestly. Bon viveurs. Cindy B, are you having steamy dreams about Carl, too? Come on, spare the lady her blushes here, Pete. Um, Hank. Uh, Pete Breach, have you seen the Dan Olsen essay? Can we have a link to that? Any chance? And... Um, Lots of at conversations that I'm getting involved in. Um, he he is a, a he is my type, but he's an acquired taste, isn't he? Honestly, um, good morning, Portugal people. Thank you for changing the subject, Raphael. How are you this morning? Not your average globe trotter. He's certainly not your average. Just as, just as in the way that Matty is not normal in a good way, he is not your average globe trotter. Also in a very good way. Oh. Um, have you been dreaming about sardines, an acquired taste? Have you acquired it yet, though? That's the, that's the question, Cindy B. Okay, Consumer Tuesday, remember, everybody, regarding two-wheeled vehicle licenses. Do electric moped scooters require licenses in Portugal? I don't think so. And how about electric bicycles? No, I don't think so. But if um, Sarah's tuned in, she'll be able to tell us, I'm sure. Ian, pop up here. You wouldn't believe how much cheaper it is. Had a beautiful five-course meal, wine, desserts, whips, and blindfolds. <laughs> and Portuguese Mr. and Mrs. for 75 euros. That's probably a true story, knowing that lot over there in that part of central Portugal. Um, and I thought it said two euros. 75 euros for two yesterday. Okay, so a very special Valentine's night out there with the whips and blindfolds and five courses. How about that? Some food was eaten as well. Um, the laundry gate. There it is. The laundry gate controversy continues. I hope so. Um, I hope it does, Lonnie. Bon dia, Carl. It is the little things in life, isn't it? Bon dia, Carl and friends. Morning to you, St. Catherine and Rebel Mama's here as well. St. Catherine, Rebel Mama, good morning to you. Hola, bon dia. Minhas mulheres. Uh, thank you, Rebel Mama. How's it going? How, how's the boys' trip here? Um, my favourite Stephen Wright quote was something like, I mix my own water, two parts H, one part O. I don't trust anyone. Very good. Um, oh, yes, this is a good question. Do you dream in Portuguese uh, when you dream now or English? When I used to study French, I used to dream in French and I didn't understand most of it. Now, that tells you something, not just about Moaz, but if you can tell... If you can have dreams in another language and not understand them, but be generating those dreams, what does that tell you about human consciousness? I love it. I love it so, I love the mystery that we are so much. And I'm so sad that we don't revel in that mystery more. I mean, it would would behove, would it not? Is that the right use of the word? Um, Messrs. Johnson, Putin and Biden, to be reveling more in the mystery and joy and love of life instead of rattling their sabers and pulling out their uh, watsits and you know brandishing themselves at each other in some stupid and dated display of male stupidity anyway um any recommendations for local portuguese yeah that's back on topic any recommendations for local portuguese retailers for electric scooters bikes and trikes have you not got them littered all over the streets yet in Enesera? Um, like you have in Lisbon and other towns, um, I wonder. But please, uh, let's help James with that. And let us go now to the first word from the wonderful Katia Lima, who's going to tell... So we're looking for a recommendation for a local Portuguese retailer for electric scooters, bikes, trikes. And well, I don't know what other... I can't remember now um, what other questions are hanging there, but there are questions hanging there, dangling there, like... Shh, what are they called? What are those green vegetables? Shushus are they called? Dangling there from 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 the, the wires of horticulture. Um, let's leave them dangling there and uh, let's attempt to answer them. And let's hear now 
alongside you, your own mentions of your business activities, the business of Katia Lima, the brilliant blogger whose blog we will also come to at some point during the show this morning. Good morning, one dia. My name is Katia Lima and I'm a blogger and a content writer. As a blogger, I have been focusing on Portugal besides Lisbon, Porto and the Algarve. I've also been focusing on aspects of Portuguese language and culture, which may not be easy to navigate if you're new to the country. As a content writer, I have been helping entrepreneurs and small and medium companies save time and make money. How? By writing content that, that they can use on their blogs, websites and social media. Uh, you can check out my blog at beyondlisbon.wordpress.com where you'll find all the relevant links. Have a great day. Thank you for watching the Cool, nice bit of Portuguese at the end, wishing us an ottimo dia at the end there. And uh, yes, of course, you can check out our blog and we will. I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, Katia. She started the Beyond Lisbon blog because Portugal is more than Lisbon, of course. And uh, she says on her about me, my name is Katia. I'm here to show you that Portugal, excuse me, is, she doesn't say that on her blog, that was me. Uh, to show you that Portugal is more than Lisbon. Portugal is small in size, but big in history. We have a rich culture and landscapes way beyond sun, sea, and sand. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that onto the screen now so you can see it for yourself. And then perhaps we can go after a few more comments, suggestions, questions, greetings this morning. We will look at either B-Days or um, the... Uh, Valentine's Day in Portugal, which of course was yesterday. So let's uh, let me just go to the about me on this page and share it with you on the screen, um, so you can see exactly what we're talking about here. Um, yes, uh, so way beyond sun, sea, and sand, this diversity has amazed me since I was a kid going on vacation with my parents. Perhaps Portugal is part of your travel plans, or maybe you find yourself daydreaming or making the move to this corner of Europe. Either way, there's a world of information to explore, which includes Portuguese language and all the little big quirks that can be expected when visiting or living in the country. Shall we explore them together? Yes, let's take a look at those B-days in just in just a minute, shall we? And uh, we'll come back to Katia's blog in just a moment. And, uh, of course, how to find her um, as well. Let me just put the link to that so that you can, if you want to take advantage of her content writing services, um, if you're starting a business here and you would find that useful, I'm going to put that into the comments myself now, my first comment of the day, I think. Beyondlisbon.wordpress.com is where you'll be able to find her. So I didn't know Netflix. I think it was a bit missing from that. Uh, the documentary is called Drying for Freedom. That's the one about uh, Laundry Gate. And I've only seen the trailer, but it's hilarious. It is, but it, there is a serious side to it, isn't there? Um, it's not a spoof, is it, Prof? I mean, it, it, comedy is, su is has such a fine line now. Sometimes it's hard to know, isn't it? But I think it's, it's seriously about the um, the dangers of, of drying, really, um, and how how... What a, what a bad effect it has, basically, when we could be using the fresh air, as people do here in Portugal. And some of us are very proud of, of them and have joined them in our own efforts. I mean, there's always laundry outside the Casa Munson these days. Uh, we don't have a tumble dryer, and we're delighted to use nature um, or harness the forces of nature to dry our smalls outside the house. And uh, no one's complained and no one's stuck an anonymous note made of cut-out newspaper Put your smalls away or there'll be trouble or anything like that. It's just what we do here now. Um, but um, it's, it, it, that will run and run, I suspect, and find out more of the backstory here. Drying for freedom. Thank you very much for that, Prof. Um, OLP, good question. Are there electric bikes to rent there? Yeah, well, there, there are definitely in the big cities. Uh, scooters more than bikes. But I have seen bike, bike rental shops as well. But there you're going to find those more in the tourist areas, of course. Uh, so, Matty, um, we're finding out – he's asking other people how they are. We want to know how you are, Matty. How's it going? Are you back – what percentage are you? Give us a percentage on your well-being sir, and health. For some reason, I'm craving a two-euro Portuguese wine. Help me, please, someone. At this point, we could just wind Hank up a little bit, can't we? Do you mean something like this, Hank, which isn't really going to help? Is it just going to make things worse? The Porta Seix, which I think you've tried, haven't you? And that's OLP's picture there of the Porta Seix. 
Um, I don't think that cost two euros in Trader Joe's, however. Um, sorry, Hank, that didn't help, did it? But uh, you'll be here soon enough, my friend. Uh, can anyone recommend a place to buy woodworking supplies, tools and fine woods? And now you're going to struggle, honestly, to find fine wood in uh, Portugal. Go to Leroy Merlin's and you'll get uh, woodworking supplies and tools. But better still, go to, there's going to be a hardware store in your village, isn't there, or your town. There's going to be an independent one where you'll be able to get the supplies and the tools. The timber, again, lumber timber in Leroy Merlin's is bent as a banana often. Terrible and so expensive now. I mean, when you, you know, when you buy, who was it who said to me the other day, you know, when you buy an ice lolly, you're getting free timber with every purchase. And it's probably worth quite a bit now, a lolly stick, given the, the hike of timber prices around the world. Go again to a local timber yard. And they're not easy to find because there's going to be no signage for it. There will just be you know, there will just be a little track and an occasional lorry coming in and out with the big with the trees that are then slashed down by these terrifying machinery. And I've been to one or two of them, I can tell you, in central Portugal. They're quite amazing with some really fascinating folks working in them with these open sores, open not 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 you know, not a med medical case open saw. I mean a great big spinning circular saw that looks horrifically dangerous from you know some kind of beginning of the industrial revolution and they're slashing down huge pieces of wood and you can buy the fine woods there if they don't if they don't if they're not a sawmill and producing their own they can probably get them in for you so robert go independent go local stick something on your local facebook group maybe you know who's found uh, the local timber yard because you're not going to see it there's not going to be signage for it i don't suppose um, in, in here in Portugal, things are well hidden, aren't they? That's 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 a general rule here. Things are well hidden. People know the people who need to know where they are know where they are, and they're not doing all this curb appeal, you know, in your face stuff. Um, you need to know. You need to know to know, as it were. So that's my recommendation. Can anyone help help Robert uh, any further with that? Good morning to you, Robert. By the way, thank you for being here with your lovely wonky snowman. Um, consumer question from Suze as well this morning. What are you eating in that picture, Suze? Uh, now that you're in Portugal, what do you miss? Is an import shop needed in particular areas with expats enough to support it? I mean, I think it's pretty well covered, Suze. We've got a cafe called Waves here in San Martino de Porto that does a full English breakfast and fish and chips and that sort of thing. And there's plenty of those. They're ten a penny, aren't they, in the Algarve? And a lot of them sell a few supplies as well. So I don't think that's that's necessarily a good um business opportunity anymore and is it gloob or gloop or something like that that the um the one that has all the american sweets in it and has mail order as well that's well covered so from the point of view of missing things you don't need to from the point of view of starting a business based on that, I think you might have missed the boat unless of course you're in one particular town where they haven't done it yet and there's a growing uh, expat population that could of course be uh, Caldas de Reña. Um, short answer yes uh, seen in Lisbon and online while exploring bike retailers in Portugal so the answer to your question there uh, LP Pam's in morning Pam and Alcabasa how you doing one of the Ask Our Expats team of course you can hire her for her expertise and lived local knowledge I've uh, been an expat for some years here on in the Silver Coast area if you're looking for some eyes uh, some boots on the ground and eyes and ears here in Portugal. Pam will do that for you. How are you, Pam? Um, to um, Matty, registering the farm is, a, as always in Portugal, as always in Portugal, is more complicated than one could conceive. But more importantly, how are you, Matty? Hope you're feeling better. He still hasn't told us, has he? Uh, oh, he's going in the right direction, uh, but still pretty exhausted after the morning dog walk. Yes, that dogging can be very tiring. Have a lie down. We're heading back in July and we'll be hitting you up for some coffee drinks if you're free, rebel mama. What about the rest of us? Um, hola, bon dia from Chris. Chris is in, everybody. From Raposera, Faisio do dia, Steve Arrington. Uh, from Slave, before he went solo, watching you. The Agua crisis has been resolved. Oh, well done, mate. <laughs> Bit of a problem at the casa there, but sorted out by the sound of it. Okay, you can find a lot of American products out here other than Butterfingers. So he's what are they? What are Butterfingers? They sound really bad for you. Um, not because butter's bad for you, but I suspect because that is confectionery made originally with butter. It might not have butter in it anymore, but a buttery taste and... Um, very sugary, I'm guessing. And even just describing a sweet, this is a bit like, you know, what we can do to ourselves in dreams. Even describing a sweet I've never even tasted is making my mouth water. Okay, hoping you make a full recovery. 
And soon, no rush. Take it one day at a time. You've got this, brother, Maddie, uh, from Hank there. Yes, feeling better every day. Symptoms are getting less and less. So all good. Think I'll be back in Portugal first week of March. Take it easy, Matty. Uh, come when you're good and ready, mate. And yeah, lots of love to you from us all here. My head and another child's head was cracked against each other's foreheads for taking too long in the shower after cross country. Oh, this is going back to the school days. My goodness, is that how long ago these comments were made? 8.53. Yes, sorry. Catch up. Come on. Um, that sounds brutal. I eventually always used to win cross country. It didn't do me any harm. The classic didn't do me any harm. But I need to ask you, what is a teacher doing in the showers with children and cracking their heads together? Was it worth it? I've decided that the best way for me to begin learning Portuguese wine is simply to buy the cheapest one on the shelf. What, well, and work your way upwards, but not all in one evening. Um, I see one to two euro bottles all the time, and they're not terrible. Honestly, they are not terrible. How's the Ericera weather this week? Quick update from you then. So bring your weather, please, folks. I'm headed to Lisboa uh, tomorrow. Fun ideas and uh, cheap, please. Well, walk the river. Um, yes, yeah, seriously, go down to that to, to the Belain part of town, to LX Factory, um, to uh, LX Underground. Have a little wander around that part of town. Fantastic. Uh, Belain and uh, where El Gish um, Factory is. Go to go go there. I think you'll like the El Gish Factory if you've not been there before. Um, Pete Bleach on the wine, not literally, or maybe, who knows? Uh, we don't judge. Um, and even the one or two euro bottles are better than the £10 bottles in the UK. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's so true. Um, because a lot of those £10 bottles are marketing ploys, aren't they? Um, where they've just done a lot on catching your eye and convincing you that it's a bargain. And inside, not so much. <laughs> Not, not so much attention uh, to the to the viticultural detail. I was tired for a while after my COVID-19 symptoms were almost gone, and I kept coughing for a while. Mm. Watch out for that, Matty. And, uh, but having dogs won't let you uh, sit on your bum. Had to walk them each day, even when I was ill, so doing so for 20 years now. Wow. Um, keep it, keep it up, Matty. Yeah, I guess I'm sure the fresh air is good, but please don't overexert yourself. Make kick and... Uh, compromise your your recovery good morning people from lee mcgrady the head gardener of course who was with us last night great session last night lee thank you very much i uh, hope you're having a good day in lisbon uh, so far i need to cough hold on a minute at that point i could play you some music Back up, the one that Hank was asking about. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's slow as constipation. Sorry to mention constipation at this time of the morning. Jamaican patties tomorrow. No, no connection. I'm back once again. See what I did there, Carl. He's back once again with the Phil behavior, filling your belly tomorrow morning. Jamaican patties tomorrow. Fantastic. Tune in for that from nine o'clock tomorrow. And the amazing, is it are you coming live from the amazing Austin Brothers Studios in El Viagra tomorrow, Owen? Hey, Owen, really sorry. We didn't get to give you a proper goodbye in January. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Fantastic from Hank there. Um, that's a good tip. I am not in love with my local mountain cuisine. Too many animal body parts I'm not used to eating. Korean barbecue sounds great. Oh, and there is a great Korean barbecue on the seafront. Delicious and reasonable. So that was a Lisboa tip. Well done, everybody. Thanks for all of these. And uh, Republic Transportation uh, can confirm can confirm what they are missing bits out here, aren't I? Um, to to Owen from Matty, as a passionated cook, have you heard of a thermomix from Verwerk? And and would you use one? Ooh, good question. Don't know what he's talking about there. What is that? What's a thermomix? Is that like a pressure cooker? Like these, um, what are they called? Quick pots or whatever that um, the Americans are missing. There's an opportunity, Suze, getting the, some of these cooking gadgets 
for North Americans that aren't here in Portugal yet. The first step in exchanging a driving license is called EI. I can't imagine doing this without them. Thank you for that, T-Duck. That's going back a bit now, isn't it, to the driving license stuff. Um, I'm going to start ignore. I, I say this, don't I? I'm going to ignore the at comments to save a lot of time. But often they're very interesting to eavesdrop on other people's comments like this. You have a barbecue in the middle of your table and you cook your food on it. Can you take your own? Uh, fun for your experience alone. Best dish was a mistake and given to our table. We'll message you, Rebel Mama there. And uh, is this a spoiler on the football? Good game. Oh, he's seen it now. Good game, but absent. Um, my Niners mostly just gave me some kind of sports to watch. Now it's Warriors and soon to get very excited about F1, says James Holly. I really enjoyed the music in the middle. I'd love seeing Dre and Snoop Dogg back together um for for the musical interlude oh hold on a minute on the line now is owen uh, let's just click that button and see it. owen are you there mate it certainly is me cam how are you doing very well thank you thank you for calling the good morning portugal show how are you today <laughs> <laughs> i'm very well out in the sunshine just thought i'd like yes it is jamaican patties tomorrow very good i'm going to do uh, some beef patties and also some saltfish Ooh, patties as well very good and yeah Yes, I will be coming live from the uh, the studios of the Austin Brothers. Oh, superb! So lots of fun tomorrow then. Um, should if anybody yeah. wants to cook along with you, um, can you give a few ingredients now? Is that a good idea? I will put them in the comments after the show, Carl. I, you know, I've only just got out of bed after yesterday's oh. after yesterday's wonderful Valentine's thing. Well, so I've, I've, had, I've had a lie-in. For the first time in a long while, I've had a lie-in this morning. Good so um, well, I'm nice. just out of my bed. But I'll put them in the comments for later. It's so nice to have been lying in bed with you this morning. Oh, thank you very much. Do you know, and you didn't even get me a cup of tea, Carl. <laughs> Next time, mate. <laughs> Next time. Okay. I thought you. Liked, I thought you liked, Have a good day. I thought you liked something a bit. Sorry. I thought you liked something a bit stiffer in the morning. But anyway, I will. Steady. I will see, steady. See, 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 see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> well, I hope you can hear that. That was fantastic. And this was set in um, last time Owen was on. And hopefully he'll he and Garvo will dress like this. Now I'm worried though. If Garvo gets his old dinner jacket out, there are going to be buttons flying. Because he's been he's been a food taster tester for every one of these so far, and that's that dinner jacket is is going to be a snug fit. Let me put it that way. But the galloping gourmet there, when people used to dress up to go on telly and even keep dressed up whilst cooking stuff. So how about that? Owen live on the line. Uh, Jamaican patties tomorrow. A bit of saltfish action going on, and he's going to put the ingredients if you want to make them at the same time tomorrow morning. Isn't that well prepared? Fantastic. Uh, yep, the bus from Lisbon to Ericeira is super easy, barely an inconvenience. Um, I thought that was a reference to the, whether there are any lavatories on the bus. I think not. Almost out of my Canadian Christmas decaf espresso. Will I find decaf espresso there? I think you will. I think you will. Can anyone else help with that? Not something I've ever wanted to buy myself, um, but I can understand why people might want to. So can we help there with that? Um, Suze, I walked by a cafe in Lisbon in July and they had a board outside that said Canadian food coming soon. Maybe that counts. What would that be, Suze? Canadian food coming soon. Um, what is that Salisbury steak or is that is that the Canadian British food? I wonder. Um, check your uh, the messages now. I'm working as a PA for people now. Owen, check your FB messenger, please, from Matty. We can help Matty out, can't we? He's not 100% at the moment. Um, virtual operators can be a great advantage over operators like Nosme and Vodafone, but the virtual operators can have slower data speeds over mobile. Okay, so that's outsourcing it or insourcing it or upsourcing it or whatever that would be called. Um, working with uh, those other than the big players in the market. But thank you for that little caveat there. And yeah, I wonder what Canadian food is. We're all a bit stumped with that, aren't we? Um, most places here serve decaf, says T-Duck, and grocery stores also have decaf coffee. I have one every morning at our corner cafe, so fear not. And decaf espresso is excellent yeah they're not going to get they're not going to be allowed to get away with rubbish coffee here and on that note um i have heard it said and i think it's true it's not the best coffee in the world necessarily but it is con the best consistently good coffee um i think you'll find that's my experience wherever you go 
and you're never far away from a coffee. The coffee is consistently good. It's not necessarily as pretentious and up itself. And that's a good thing, I think, as some places can be with coffee. Um, you know, they just get on with it and make you a decent coffee. They don't want to tell you it's been passed through the bodies of 12 goats or whatever happens sometimes. Um, the word in the image are your pants, your coins, your gains, your responsibility. The most important and first tool in the crypto expert tool chest, a joke NFT um, that crypto people understand. Ah, an in-joke there. Your pants, your coins, your gains, your responsibility. Yes, I, 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 can, I get the gist of that, um, even though I'm not a, a big player by any means in the crypto world. I'm just, just fascinated by it. Any service provider can legally rent a space on a tower to broadcast or get fiber. Okay. Um, I have to say our service now is at least four times faster than NOS was. Um, no crazy US speeds, but plenty for us. That's good to know. And how did you go about doing that? Um, I brought lots of maple syrup with me. Okay, yes, Canadian food, maple syrup, and and gave most away as gifts. Little carries it. McKennedy, it's okay. And NFT, just in case anyone was wondering, if you're too scared and didn't want to seem uncool um, asking what the acronym NFT means, uh, we can tell you it's non-fungible token, which will make you no better off, obviously, because they've snuck in an, uh, um, a word there that is needs further decoding fungible, honestly. Um, if you were to decode that into a three-part slogan or three-part phrase there, big boy crypto bands, that actually explained what it was, what would it be? Anybody, not just big boy crypto bands. Okay, can be utilized, will be utilized, is still to be decided right i'm not is that to do with the um towers again 47 watching and 10 likes many more now rebel mama but vamos pashosh click the like button yeah thank you for that i'm um, always good to to uh, have that reminder coming in oh yes i know korean barbecue japanese have the same and it's fantastic um so that's looking like a good day out in lisbon tomorrow then the only steam i get these days <laughs> is from the sauna stove and that's just fine um, says Suze. Uh, B days. I, oh, okay. I like bees. Are we going to do B days? I can't believe it's quarter to 10 and we haven't looked at Valentine's Day, Portuguese style or B days yet. We've been very chatty this morning. So I, I'm actually going to not look at the ads. I'm going to go through the non at comments and, but to reiterate, if it's something important, do stick it back in and with a reminder or something like that, or just at Carl, maybe. Um, I would prefer to support small mom and pop businesses over corporate chains. I do, and we will see. Um, it's not just about NFTs and crypto, it's about the blockchain. Yeah, all about the blockchain, right? 200 characters is never enough to explain, and skeptics may get bored with the waffle. Well, let's do a special then, shall we? Expensive groceries. The only time I was in London, the supermarket prices were like the US. Here, where we live, we pay about a third of the price. Amazing. Our, our monthly food bill with eating at cafes is four to five, 450 euros. Excellent. U.S. comparisons. Continent is like any chain supermarket. Pingo is the same but smaller. Little is like little, and Intermarché is just in its own strange category. Yes, I think you're right. A uh, Yum, says Suze. And uh, Nanaimo bars. Didn't realize that they were on my miss list. Is that the um, Korean barbecue, I wonder? Uh, people didn't think the car would be successful. They preferred the horse and car. You can't stop a movement. I'm always saying that as I push the children out of the way. Um, in the mornings. Uh, what is the utility of crypto? Oh, probing question there. I miss toaster crumpets too. <laughs> it's all coming back to you now, isn't it? Drenched with maple syrup, perhaps. Um, I got that road mixer. It's great to work with, but I'll admit I have a little love-hate relationship. Ooh, ooh. Uh, it makes you sound very good. Or is that other processing, Raphael? Or is that just your natural beautiful voice uh, midlife uh, can be used for payments record keeping and much more theoretically yeah what, what have the romans and the blockchain ever done for us abandon hope all ye who enter here my math teacher regularly said honestly the, uh, you know it, what, what schools were a refuge for the for the broken hearted and disappointed weren't they when we were kids <laughs> in some ways there were notable exceptions of course mr neil god love you uh, bon dia torish uh, we remember the good ones don't we a cool 2 degrees here in torish novish for reg pelo but the sun shining in a clear blue sky. As we've come to love and expect in Portugal, I can see it from myself out my window, Reg. Um, how's my favourite chat room participant whose name starts with J? He's got him guessing now, hasn't he? Um, I have been dreaming with Portuguese language involved. So exciting. Mm. 
Nobody got And on that topic, the box to put me in still needs to be invented and build so I can tear it up again. There you go. See, I told you. And Baddy's here as well. Morning, Baddy. Born dear folks from Baddy. And um, oh, Chris is here as well now. Watch out. Chris, good morning to you from the Algo. Good morning, good morning Portugal. How, How are you, you doing, Carl? Very well, mate. You? I am fantastic. I'm stood in my garden looking at the sea. And I'm thinking, I do not want to give this up. I'm going back to the UK in about eight hours. Oh, no. And I'm trying to find, I know, I'm trying to find a reason to stay. Can you not break your heat, your water heating system again, like you did last time, to create a reason? <laughs> 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 Do you know what it was? What was it? We ran out of gas. We ran out of gas. <laughs> 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 oh dear oh dear yeah that's very elementary that is a terrible user error oh, it's like pebcac it's pebcac on a tech desk isn't it problem exists between quick keyboard and chair so the problem existed between the hob and the gas bottle i think and it was you chris all the time oh so you know what was, really, what was really bad <laughs> rima had just started to wash her hair and then she came in and she yeah. said look i can't go anywhere looking like this yeah and i didn't know what was wrong because the other day we checked the gas and the bottles were full so i had to go down and get a couple of new gas bottles a lovely lady in the, in the petrol station taught me portuguese yeah. whilst i was doing it and then got back up and by the time it was all resolved it was just too late to drive up oh, otherwise it, we, we, we'll see you next time it's going to be so good to see it. but i'm worried about rima sitting there uh, with a with with shampoo in her hair while you're out learning Portuguese and getting gas bottles and getting sidetracked. Oh, I'll just have a quick coffee while I'm out and about. <laughs> is, is she, is she, is she yeah. all right? Or has she developed this kind of dandruff now as a result of having shampoo in her hair for three hours while you're out and about? No, no, she, she's fine. She's fine. And I'm still breathing. If she wasn't all right, you know it. Because you know I wouldn't be breathing <laughs> if she was. Yes, I do know that. Oh, brilliant. Well, love, love, love to Rima. When are you coming back? Uh... Well, we're booked to come back in March yeah. and April. Yeah. And I've just got to go and do, what's the other month of the year? May, June, <laughs> July, Your August. Your monthly visits. September, that's 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 all right, so the pe people who don't know, you. well, you do, you've got to come back to the Silver Coast. And for people who don't know where you are, can you just give the name, give the name of your location and tell people why they should visit it? Okay, La Pacera is eight minutes from Sardesh in the western Algarve in the and western it's Algarve. the end of the world it's fantastic it's really strange because we were inside Gump last night and another Gump was inside West, but I didn't even know oh, really? and um it is beautiful it's got so much history and the air is really fresh yes you'll feel 15 years younger by the time you go back to wherever it is you've come from Amazing, amazing. So you'd recommend Sagresh. You say it's the end of the world, and that's in a good way. I mean, you're you're out on the um, what's it called, promontory, aren't you? You're out on the the um, it juts out into the sea, and it is magnificent. You can hear the wind blowing there. Um, is that a problem at times as well? Is it very windy? Um, it can be at different times of the day. Um, yeah. If there's cloud in the sky, definitely you'll get a bit of wind. I mean, I lost some garden furniture and early on in the year it got damaged due to the wind. Um, okay. So now I've got it tied down with bungees. But uh, in the summer months, <laughs> it's not that windy and it's great. Okay, so you have to you have to tie your plastic furniture down with bungee ropes. But apart from that, you utterly recommend Sagresh in the Western Algarve, and people need to visit, don't they? Is it is it is the, the beer? Does the beer come from Sagresh? There is the obvious connection, is there? I don't think it comes from Sagresh, oh, but okay. it's okay. it's you know, you're either Sagresh or Superbock, and um, you know uh, you've got people in Sagresh that drink Superbock, so oh yeah, <laughs> make of it what you will. Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, well, thank you for calling the Good Morning Portugal show. This is lovely to have a few of the regulars calling in and shouting out from their part of Portugal. Anything else you want to tell us? Yes, if well, you're making your way to Portugal, just do it. Just do, do it. Do not do not hesitate. Yeah. Just get on a plane and get over here All or right. get in your car if you're coming from somewhere else in Europe and just, just drive. Just drive, share your papers at the border and just enjoy yourself. Alita Adams couldn't have said it better herself. Thank you very much from Sagresh in the Western Algarve, Chris, and lots of love to Rima. Cheers, Carl. Bye. 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 Back to the UK. And of course, we're looking forward to seeing you already and before you've even left. 
Fantastic. Anyone else want to ring in? 913-590-303 is turning into a phone in this morning. We love this. Um, this extended chat this morning on Consumer Tuesday. And Sarah, she's come up trumping. Thank you. Uh, my husband bought a used e-bike in Irish, uh, and there wasn't any licensing involved. So there you go. No license required, it would seem, for electric bicycles. I guess once they become a motorbike, and there are electric motorbikes, you might have to do something different. But it's going to be the the size, the capacity, isn't it, that you're talking about there. Spark 74 is in as well this morning. I uh, love your picture. A la Carla from uh, Spark 74. How are you doing? What are you doing? Very simple greeting this morning. Tell us more, if you will. Bon dia, Jack Polly did the Algarve supermarkets. Um, oh, bon dia. The Algarve supermarkets have more choice. We can still buy our 169 euro in Pingo in the Algarve, just the same as in the Alentasia. So that's good to know. They're not taking the proverbial there, and uh, you're still getting your wine at 169. <laughs> oh, who's this? Is that Mr. McGrady? <laughs> Good morning, mate. Good morning, it's the head Good morning people. <laughs> How are you? Where are you? What's going on? I'm on the golf resort near um, Fontatelia. Oh, good for you. Arawera. Um, oh, that's the one. And I'm chasing moles this morning. Good morning. <laughs> we've, well, we've got a beautiful new lot. We've got a beautiful new lot we put in last spring. Yep. And it's been invaded by moles. Oh dear! I've turned up this morning to ten different mole hills. And what's the cure? They've what made a right bloody mess. But are you are you um, are you playing whack a mole? Are you putting jar, jars planted at a jaunty angle, or are you using explosives? How's it how's it going this morning? Well, it looks like I'm going to have to use explosives, but for this week, I'll just try a mole trap Mo and see if I can kill the bloody thing. Oh. Horrible so that's news. a nice start yeah, to the morning, isn't it? That'll cheer everybody up. Horrible news, yeah. Arawera. <laughs> and, and it's i mean it's it, it's idyllic there isn't it we're talking about a resort it's like a gated community um, not that that's necessarily a good thing but it, it the arrow era is beautiful two got two 18 hole golf courses a mixture of housing you can live in an apartment we did that and we lived there for a little while fonta to tell beach is just down the road you live in shoulder to shoulder with with some of the top footballing stars aren't you at arrow era yeah, there's some uh, there's some stunning properties here. Yeah, there are. Aren't they? I mean, Amazing. I mean, unaffordably some stunning. Yeah. Uh, but there is there is some affordable housing on the way in, and yeah. some decent rentals. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can, so you can live but, there. It, us normal people can live there as well, can't we? At Arrowera, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's it's a nice day. I only phoned in to give you the weather report. Okay, go on then. It's bloody beautiful. And there you go. The weather report there from Arawera, just south in Almada in Lisbon. Bloody beautiful. Thank you very much, Head Gardener McGrady. See you next Catch Monday. Catch you later, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. Weather report. Bloody beautiful. <laughs> we don't want anything else to it. Concerns about the drought, which is what we were talking with Lee about yesterday on the gardening Q&A, 6.15 every Monday evening. But thank you very much, Lee. Thank you, Chris. And thank you, Owen, for calling in this morning. 913-590-303. There are far too many attractive people. Oh, Suze is on the line now. Far too many people. Attractive people starting blogs. I need to just start one to balance it out. Suze, good morning to you. Oh, I can hear myself. Let's see what happens here. It's a long delay. It's going to be a long delay. Suze, turn your phone off. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hola, bon dia. Hello. 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 Hola. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, I've got to turn my TV down. You do. you got to turn your TV down. Otherwise, your taxi is going to be thinking, what is going on here? We've got a little video of taxi somewhere, I think. Uh, Sorry about that, Carl. I thought you, you needed worry. someone without a British accent to call in for a minute. It's, it was getting a bit Brit-centric, wasn't it? Like, a, like, it's, like it's sounding like certain hey, parts of the wanted... Algarve. I wanted to thank Hank for his comment that he felt he found his tribe here. I think it was Hank. Yeah, may well have and, been. And uh, I still have my studded snow tires on, so I'm sitting here with uh, bated breath waiting to get there to oh, meet wow. what I consider to be my new tribe too. Great. Uh, it doesn't help, does it, when people are ringing in saying the weather's bloody beautiful and you've still got your snow tires on? Well, yeah, they have to be on legally till I think the end of March. Really? Okay, so can you yeah. can, can we have a little a little pen portrait of life in Finland then? Because we often see your comments and your chat, and it's lovely to hear your voice. Tell us more about Finland. Well, you know what? It's lovely. The yeah. people are very nice. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think I'm one of two expats in my community. Yeah. So um, when I was at the grocery store, 
I asked her something in Finnish and the lady laughed and I said that bad. And she said, no, you're getting better. But uh, I, I don't have a community here. So that's why I'm so devoted to you guys. Cause I feel like I've got one there. Yeah. And um, I have a backup backup plan. Oh, there's a, uh, a retirement department in Vancouver for uh, showbiz people. And so um, I'm going to apply there. They've got a five to 10 year waiting list. So I thought, well, I've got a good five to 10 years in Portugal. I just have to get there. Oh, that sounds like a good backup plan. I mean, Vancouver's beautiful, isn't it? Well, it was home home for many years and yeah. the warmest but wettest place in Canada. So um, anyway, I'm hoping I fall in love with Portugal and all works and I just decide to stay here. But I think it's good to have a backup backup plan. I think you were saying stay here, like you're already here, which is good. I like that 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 kind of visioning process that you sound like you're going well, through there. I think what I mean by here is I'm on this side of the Atlantic. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And, and, you know, I've been here over two and a half years now and uh, I didn't plan to stay in Finland that long, but if I want my EU card, it might just be a visit to Portugal. If I decide Portugal is the be all and end all, and I have to get back there and the EU way is the best way to go. I might have to come back here and find a new apartment, but uh I'm, this is this is why I was making the jokes about marriage proposals. I'm just looking for every possible option. Well, there's no problem with that. We're, uh, <laughs> we'll we'll keep working on every front we possibly can. While you're here, um, there are mm -hmm. suggestions for Canadian food. Tim Tim Hortons fried moose balls and Canadian bacon. Does, is that a typical uh, dinner? Or I'm not sure. I've never that. heard of it. No. And because I'm a, a a fussy coffee drinker, I don't care for Tim Hortons. Okay. coffee as i stir up a big debate on oh, the topic. is that what it is okay tim horton yeah um okay. but you know they've got donuts and and the finished donuts they've got one here that was like one grandmother made and they're an occasional treat but i kind of miss the north american style donuts yeah i miss um occasionally i miss fast foods like we don't have kfc here now that's something I would do once or twice a year, but uh, I think yes. there's KFC in Portugal. Unlucky fried kitten, as they call it sometimes here. Um, and <laughs> I hope not. No, so, no, no, no. I would never. I would never call yeah. it that. Uh, um, I'm gonna let you go and get back to your posts. And by the way, I sent you the recipe for Nanaimo bars, not Korean barbecue. A delicious Canadian treat. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for that. It's so confusing. All these different cultural references. And um, Joao F, look, he's telling us off. Come on, people. Seriously, you're moving to Portugal to keep eating the same stuff you ate in the countries of origin. Be brave. Try Portuguese cuisine. Plunge into it with your eyes closed. We will be doing that as well. Don't you worry, uh, Joao F. Okay, later. <clears throat> Thanks, everybody. Suze, you are literally our big finish. I will see you soon. <laughs> All bye -bye. right. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Oh, so good to hear from Suze there. Well, we didn't do we didn't do the B days. I'm gonna have just put the go yourself to see um, Katia Lima's blogs. All right, and this is the B day one that's going into the chat now. We all got too chatty this morning, didn't we? Um, it's like a chat show, but chatting with this wonderful Gumper community. Um, you are the big stars. You are the big stars of the Good Morning Portugal live stream, of course. And uh, the the age of celebrity is over, isn't it? That that's we will look back and think, why did we? adulate people in that way when we were just we were all just so interesting attractive and wonderful ourselves and we get a our own live stream in the morning and just have, be talking to each other uh, through this amazing technology so um we have links there to to uh, uh katia's blogs beyond lisbon dot wordpress dot com thank you very much uh, katia for uh, sharing your videos sharing your blogs and doing the amazing work you do proving that there is life beyond Lisbon. And I thank you all so much. I can see that we've missed so many comments this morning, but I suspect you, you'll you have seen them for yourself and you're having lovely conversations uh, independently of me, which I don't mind at all. I, there's a, I'll cherry pick a few more comments before I go. Look, gated communities to keep you in, Carl, so as not to bother us commoners. I'd never thought of it in quite that way. We've co covered a lot of ground this morning. NFTs, non-fungible tokens are units of data that represent a... <laughs> So only kidding, big boy crypto pants. Uh, Non-fungible tokens are units of data that represent a unique digital asset stored and verified on the blockchain. Don't worry, folks. You will be stored and verified or your information soon will be stored and verified on the blockchain. And I think it's good for democracy. I hope so. Um, well worth looking up the blockchain documentary. That's another good one. M 
Stargers, his name, Manuel Stargers, I think. Really, really good blockchain documentary if you want to find out more. Uh, Suze, who was on the phone just now, it seems my food shopping will have more of what I like and at much lower prices. Three and a half, um, three and one half months. Countdown has begun. And the option to marry Suze is still uh, there uh, and available as well. As a win-win situation. Um, Re the shower, the teacher in the shower. He wasn't in the shower. It was after. Well, I'm so pleased to hear that um, because it's probably still not too late to report such a thing. Uh, We got changed because he was a PE teacher and does nothing for the rest of the day. There is a trigger alert for PE teachers the world over. Um, Yes, not bad and worth it to pay about 10 euros extra for a first class ticket. Oh, on the Alpha Pendula uh, by the sound of it. Portugal's fantastic trains, train network. We were talking about uh, public transit earlier on, weren't we? We're mostly vegan, and it's easy to find quality food here than in the States. Another little bit of consumer information there. And, um, Pete, that sounds like a fabulous train ride, Rebel. We enjoy our two-and-a-half-hour one a little more than the arrival. Um, Sarah, on bikes possibly here? Yes, if we're suggesting bicycle retailers in general, I heartily recommend Legend Bikes and Zadorble. They've had the bits to keep the German bike fleet going. And they've got a fleet, believe me. And we'll go there for new ones when needed. So there you go. Shout out to Legend Bikes. You are literally legends, uh, Legend Bikes in Satubal. Getting a shout out from the community. Um, I was supposed to be right biking, not banking. I see. I like a bit of downhill biking but you're multitasking with a bit of downhill banking there um it worked for me well thompson it's nice everyone having the freedom to consume the operative word being freedom enjoy it while it lasts i can't leave the show on that note you might be right but we can't just we can, you know we need something we need to be up at the end not on a downer like that well that's another thing to discuss at another time isn't it enjoying freedom while it lasts rebel mama do they have stores are samoas in lisbon like whole foods and trader joe's they cater for vegetarians and vegans as t duck said you won't struggle with that moaz um in very cosmopolitan metropolitan Lisboa. and um please can we all say some prayers or if you prefer channel great vibes to a great friend of the show whose other half is unwell absolutely indeed um, that's going to be very general, but I'm sure uh, those vibes will get to where they're needed and those prayers. Thank you for that, Pete. Uh, anything else? Five ninety nine at Trader Joe's. Oh, I think that's the uh, the uh, Porta Seche wine that was shown earlier on. I'm looking for an uplifting comment. Uh, who doesn't like an uplift in the morning? Are those skinny scooters I saw pictures of in Lisboa electric? Yes, they are. They look like what young people ride here locally. They are although theirs are not electric. No, they are the electric ones that you rent. Uh, You just join on an app and you can just pick one up and just chuck it down on the street. Well, that's what other people seem to do anyway. Anyway, I've done the thing I can't stand and polluted the chat with a topic that I can't probably be discussed in this format. Back to other stuff. Well done. A nice admission there. You're completely forgiven, Prof. Eusebio. Not that you needed that from me. Uh, I might agree that the assessment of its current state fees can be absurd and transactions take way too long this is bitcoin isn't it there is potential but in my humble opinion it's a long way off and still mostly crap um james holly electric bicycles depend on their aided speed if that speed is above 25 kilometers per hour up to 45 kilometers per hour says matty they are called speed p they need number plates as well but no driving license he knows his stuff here on consumer tuesday then the desperate search for a last uplifting and inspiring comment. I think I'm going to find it here. Love you, Gumpers. Have a good day. We'll go with that, shall we? Excellent, excellent session today. Make sure you check out Katia Lima and uh, use her services if you can. She's really, really good. And um, Quebecois uh, have a big influence in Canadian cultures and settlers from the British Isles and the rest of the world. So a bit of a mixed bag over there with the Canadian foods. And Carl, I'll pray for your friend. Uh, Yes, send it via me and I'll send it on uh, to where it's needed. Canadians tend to bristle at being likened to Americans. I'd never noticed that, uh, but they pretty much try to define themselves as how they are different from Americans. Um, That wasn't uplifting or inspiring, although very, very interesting. And again, I think a, a thread that will run and run. James Holly apparently is 103. So there's a fact you didn't know, and we'll just leave there wondering how on earth um, he gets his complexion to look like that in the picture that you can see in front of you. See you tomorrow. (laughs) 